In this tutorial, we will show you how to enable audio demand for your video inventory in Google Ad Manager. Audio advertising is a new and growing ad format in digital advertising, and with the COVID-19 pandemic, there is an increasing demand for audio platforms like podcasts and music streaming services. People are engaging with online platforms as their primary source of entertainment, and they are streaming music, listening to podcasts, and watching videos as they go about their daily lives. Google has added audio demand to compete in your video inventory in Google Ad Manager. For most publishers, they only monetize their video inventory with display or video ads, but now there is an emerging opportunity for audio ads. This new ad format can help you make the most of your video inventory and allow audio ads to compete in the open auction. These non-skippable ads offer several benefits. First, you can earn more revenue from your video content. Second, you can connect to more advertisers in the open auction. And lastly, you can increase the fill rate of your video inventory. Here is how you can set it up in Google Ad Manager. For those who already have a video inventory, you can just add the audio demand to your existing ad unit. But in this example, we will show you how to create the ad unit from scratch. Step 1. Create an ad unit that enables audio and video demand. Go to Inventory, then Add Units. Add a name and copy that to the Add Unit code. In the Audio Video Vast Sizes section, add the audio demand and video demand. For this example, we will use a 300 by 250 video vast. Once done, scroll down and click Save. Step 2. Create an ad exchange order. Select Delivery Orders and click on New Order. Add a name, choose the advertisers as Ad Exchange and add the line item. To add a line item, select Video or Audio Ad, name it as you like, and choose the line item type as Ad Exchange. In this section, choose the audio demand, so this line item will serve audio, and you can also add the video demand. Make sure that the web property alias is Ad Exchange Video and the delivery settings are immediate and unlimited. Target your inventory properly to the ad unit that has video and audio demand. Select the ad unit that you just created and make sure that the inventory type is in-stream video and audio. Click Save. Step 3. Once that's done, it will ask for a creative. Go to Creatives, then Add Creative for Audio. Add a specific parameter. For this example, we'll use 60 seconds of audio. Click Save, and an audio creative is created. Next, go back to your line item and add the creative, but this time select Video. Select In-Stream Skippable in 5 seconds as the format with a maximum duration of 60 seconds and hit Save. Now a video creative is created. Once this step is complete, your order is ready to be served on your ad unit. The next step is to implement the ad unit onto your video inventory. Simply go to your inventory and select Add Units. Choose the ad unit you just created and proceed to Tags. Select Google Publisher Tag for Video and Audio as your tag type and click Continue. Now choose Google IM SDK as your player SDK type and click Continue. You can then specify any parameters you want for your video inventory and click Continue again to generate the tag. You now have a tag that you can implement onto your video inventory. It's important to note that there's an error if you haven't included a description URL in the additional tag parameters. So make sure to complete all necessary parameters before implementing the tag onto your website or video inventory. If you need further assistance, we have a team of dedicated ad optimizers who can help you monetize your video, app, and audio inventory. Reach out to monetizemore.com for more information and assistance. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tip. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks. We'll catch you next time.